it's Ake on halfway for Manchester City. Every Norwich player back behind the ball. And uh, Ruben Diaz will float one forward towards Mares, and he's picked him out beyond Brandon Williams on the right-hand side. He finds Bernardo Silva in the penalty area, gets away from McLean, and puts the ball off the inside of the post! And it bounces back into the arms of Angus Gunn. That was... Bernardo Silva cannot believe it. He beautifully curled that ball past Gunn. I think most of the fans thought that was definitely going in, but it's hit the inside of the post and bounced into the grateful arms of Angus Gunn. Come to an opportunity here with Max Aarons cutting in into the penalty area he goes. Aarons is going to hit one. It's blocked, but it'll fall for Pierre Lise Melu who takes a touch. It's a heavy touch. Uh, then he has to take another touch to try and nick it away from Mares, but it's Bernardo Silva who steals it, and Manchester City will attack. Norwich have committed men forward. What a challenge from Brandon Williams. Gets into to Bernardo Silva on halfway, wins it, and then runs forward with it on the right hand side. Great run from Williams. Finds Puki in the area. Puki shot straight to Edison. Everyone back for Manchester City. Gilmore's corner from the right-hand side played in. Sergeant nearly got there. Got his head to it, but didn't get enough. But Puki chases the ball to the left-hand side, finds Pierre-Lise Melu, who puts a dangerous cross in. Hadley's header! It's hit the post! Gibson's got the point, get to the rebound. Both sides have hit the post now. That was Grant Hanley with a lovely header beyond Edison. It ducked the post, and Gibson couldn't get to the rebound. Here comes uh, Walker, dashing forward on the right-hand side, uh, crossing the ball into the penalty area, it's missed by Aarons, it's going to fall here for Sterling in the area, Sterling, can he punish him? He can! Raheem Sterling scores! Manchester City have gone in front, just after Norwich City had had a couple of opportunities of their own, it was a cross-in from Kyle Walker from the right-hand side that Norwich couldn't deal with, and Raheem Sterling breaks the deadlock on the half-hour, it's Norwich City nil, Manchester City won. Now it's Ruben Diaz halfway inside the Norwich half. Everyone bar Puki back behind the ball. Fernandinho clipping the ball into the penalty. Kyle Walker's made a good run, gets around the back, keeps it alive. Uh, and then a floated chip from Bernardo Silva, and it's uh, cleared somehow over the top. Gundogan was in there as well. I think it actually came off him last of all. But Bernardo Silva just got to the ball in the six yard box and just hoisted it over Angus Gunn. Mares plays it inside to Bernardo Silva, and it's picked up by Zinchenko on the left-hand side. Raheem Sterling in front of him, played quickly to Gundogan, he's made a great run into the channel from the byline. Gundogan flashes across the face of goal, blocked somehow by Gunn, Foden though will squeeze it goalwards, Hanley's cleared it away, did it cross the line, it did! Well, Hanley got to the ball, stretched, looked like he cleared it, but it had just squirmed over the line before he got there, and after a scramble, Manchester City go 2-0 up, inside the first three minutes of the second half. Hanley's on his knees, he could not have done any more to clear that ball away. Right wing, Billy Gilmore senses an opportunity. Now he hits a diagonal pass across the pitch here for Rashica to chase. Kyle Walker gets underneath it, clears it straight up in the air. It bounces deep inside the Manchester City half. It's there to be won, and it has been won by Kenny McLean. They find Rashica in the area, puts the shot straight at the goalkeeper. That was uh, the best opening by far Norwich have had in this second half. There's no reason to stop the game because he's actually off the field at the moment, so they can carry on, and they will do with the Manchester City corner, right hand side. Play to the corner of the box again. Foden now delivers into the area, headed down by Ruben Diaz and in! That is the third for Manchester City. It comes from a set piece, it's played into the penalty area, it's headed across the six yard box, and that is Manchester City now out of the sight. There's going to be no repeat of what we saw uh, a couple of seasons ago, and it was Raheem Sterling, his second goal of the evening, and it's Norwich City nil, Manchester City three. Gilmore has played Grant Hanley into a bit of trouble, but Hanley gets the better with a bit of help from Byram. 
of Raheem Sterling. We'll come back to that point in a moment, Simon, but we've got to break off because here come Manchester City. It might be young Liam Delap going through the middle, and the referee's going to give a penalty. Well, Delap went between Gibson and Byron. He went down. Angus Gunn and Grant Hanley have a look of utter disbelief on their faces. Liam Delap's gone down. Referee Andre Mariner has said penalty. Hanley can't believe it. Maybe it was he who was the guilty party, but it's going to be looked at again. It's the two centre-backs, Hanley and Gibson, actually, isn't it? And he goes between the two of them. Here comes Raheem Sterling with a penalty for Manchester City against Angus Gunn. Flags waving in the stand. Gunn saves it with a rebound. It's going to be tucked in by Sterling. That is his hat-trick. And it's so, so harsh on Angus Gunn because he dived to his left-hand side. He stopped the penalty, but as he parried it out, he went back across the centre of the goal and Sterling was just able to walk it into the net. Brandon Williams wins it eventually on halfway and that is the end of the game and uh, lightning does not strike twice at Carrow Road the mighty Manchester City are not beaten again Norwich City worked ever so hard here they put a lot into this game but they have still finished up on the wrong end of a 4-0 scoreline and on the wrong end of a Raheem Sterling hat-trick and that tells you all you need to know about the difference in resources and strength between these two squads Norwich have given that as good a go as you could have hoped for really and they've still finished up losing and with uh, a player of Raheem Sterling's quality scoring a hat-trick 4-0 in the end